Hi, hi, hi. Hello. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm excited to, to be here today sharing with you just some of the really kind of qualities um, that I feel like have helped me to create success in my life. And of course, that is success by my own personal definition of success, reaching the goals that I've set for myself and doing cool stuff that that I, you know, decided that I would like to experience or have or do or be. Um, so of course, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's tons of people that would look at me and say, well, you know, I don't think you're successful, but this is success for me, you know, living the lifestyle that I want to live, getting to create cool stuff for people, teach, um, run businesses that I, I want to run, things like that. So, um, so I'm glad that you're here. I see some people jumping on. Thank you for joining me. Say hi if you're here. Let me make sure I can see comments. I think I can. Um, so yeah, so these are just some things I was thinking of this morning. I was like, I want to do a live stream. What could I talk about? And this just popped into my mind. So the first one is definitely being willing to take risks, being willing to um, risk being embarrassed, risk losing some money, risk um, really anything, just like going out there and falling on my face, which I've done many, many times. I continue to fall on my face and learn and grow and get back up and, you know, fail forward, which is another one on my list. Um, you know, I think there's a mindset difference between people who fail and then say, well, I'm not doing that again because I failed and people who fail and say, okay, let me look at what happened and let me see if I can tweak and then go out there and give it another try. So, you know, it's kind of, I see people saying this about social media. Somebody said to me the other day, well, I don't really post on social media anymore because nobody was liking my stuff. And that is kind of backwards thinking to me. Like, no, nobody's liking your stuff yet. And that is, I mean, yeah, it's frustrating. It's annoying. It's uncomfortable to put yourself out there day after day after day and feel like you're not getting traction. But of course, quitting is not going to get you to reach your goals. It's not going to get you to, um, to being successful. So risk taking and trying things and I also feel like trying things with an attitude and a mindset of, hey, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna see what happens, I'm gonna learn from it, I'm gonna grow from it, I'm going to you know, use this information to move forward and to do the next thing that I wanna do. A lot of people you know, try something new with a specific outcome in mind. And then when they don't get that specific outcome, that can lead to a lot of disappointment and like, I'm not good at this and that was no fun and I felt embarrassed. And so I'm not going to, to try things anymore. And that is really, really where a lot of people get stuck when it comes to trying to reach their goals. So risk taking, trying new things. And I mean, I can think of times when I only had a couple hundred dollars to my name as a single mom and I spent, you know, like a fourth of all of my money in the world on a newspaper ad to advertise my massage business. Like that's a pretty big risk. And a lot of people would say, well, I'm not going to invest in myself because I only have this much money. But I was kind of at the point where I was like, well, you know, I don't have much money anyway, so what the heck, <laughs> I'll just try it. And it was doing things like that. You see, yeah, sometimes I would get, an, you know, clients from my ads and things like that, but sometimes I wouldn't. But again, I just kept placing my ads because I had the, um, you know, the belief that being consistent, building my brand and keeping myself out there would have a long-term 
effect. So I kept doing things like that and what that eventually did was give me the opportunity to take over a storefront a therapeutic massage center when the owners were moving across the country. They were looking for somebody to take over their business. They had been seeing me advertise in the newspaper and they were like, well, this is the kind of person who could step into a business like that because she's not afraid to advertise. She's going to, you know, keep it going. So, you know, so that risk taking can lead to any, any number of outcomes, some even better than the outcome that we originally had in mind or thought that we were going for. Okay. So the second quality that, um, I think has created success in my life is that I'm always, always learning. And I blame my mom for this one because we grew up without television. And so I became a reader and the kind of person that would read several books a week. Um, and then when I, did own my first business and I started realizing, okay, there's a lot of stuff I don't know, obviously, because this is not working. I have no clients. I don't know what to do. I was like, well, I'll learn what to do. I just knew that with the right information, with getting out there and learning, I could apply that information in and turn things around. And that's exactly what I ended up doing. Um, the third quality, and what I would encourage you to do as well. So definitely check out the bundle that um, is posted up, up above this video. The link is up there because my entire six week marketing bootcamp is a part of that bundle. And that's everything that I know about marketing a massage or spa business is in that, um, in that bootcamp. So, okay, so the third one is tenacity and that is just being kind of stubborn and bullheaded and not looking right or left just going straight after what I want day after day um, no matter what other people say or how I feel and that's a huge one so here's the thing you do not have to feel like marketing to do marketing. You don't have to feel like doing client follow-ups to do client follow-ups. You do not have to feel like writing an email newsletter to write an email newsletter. What you have to do is just to do the thing, whether you feel like it or not. And I have noticed that when you do the thing, you will often get into the feeling of doing the thing, you know, like today. I didn't necessarily, it's like a kind of a cool fall, rainy day. To be honest with you, I could very well be snuggled up with my cat, taking a nap, not doing this live stream. But I've learned some t tricks over the years. And one of those tricks is if I'm kind of trying to not show up and I'm kind of, you know, sabotaging myself is I will make a big announcement in the morning that I'm going live at a certain time. So that's just an extra little tip there, but it works because I sent out an email saying I'm going live. Um, I posted on my personal page and my business page and in a group that I would be going live here today at one o'clock. So that kind of locks me into showing up. Now that I'm here, now that I'm talking, I'm like, yes, this is what I like to do. This is kind of awesome. So, you know, making decisions on what to do based on how you feel is very silly and is not what, what works. So you should make decisions based on the outcome that you want to get, the result that you want to get. The other thing, and I posted about this yesterday, is what happens on any one day does not matter, um, but it does move the needle. So if you show up more days than you don't show up, what do you think your results are gonna be at the end of the year? You know, if you show up 50-50, I mean, I'd say you're gonna get kind of average results. If you show up, 95 to 98 to 99 percent of the days and 
promote yourself and market yourself and shine your light and tell people how you can help them and ask them to um, purchase from you or become a client or do business with you in some way, even cross promote or something like that. If you keep showing up and you have that consistency and then you look back over the past year, you're definitely gonna be miles ahead of where you were than if you only showed up on days when you really felt motivated and inspired to. So it's really a matter of just making a commitment to yourself that you're going to show up in spite of how you feel, in spite of fear and anxiety and not knowing what to say and all of those excuses that we can use. Um, one thing I do is I just make a, you know, just a little short list. This is how I do pretty much all of my live streams, even teaching some of my classes. And I really don't need this list. I've barely looked at it, but it gives me that little bit of, okay, well, I've got some dot points. If I draw a blank, if I don't know what to say, I'll check in with my list. So you can use little tricks like that. But, you know, what you do on any one single day is not necessarily going to make a huge difference in your business. But if you show up 350 days out of the year, those 15 days aren't gonna matter. But if you only show up 15 days out of the year, you're not gonna get very far. So, you know, I try not to beat myself up too much if I do have a day where I'm like, okay, I didn't really bring it today. I didn't really show up. I didn't really um, engage with people. I didn't make a point of trying to reach as many people as I can reach. You know, I forgive myself and I move on, but I know that over the weeks and months that that will put me, you know, going backwards and not where I want to be. So, I mean, four or five years ago when I started making videos on my page, you know, after a few weeks I had 10 videos, 12 videos. I could have looked at that and said, nobody's watching my videos. I'm gonna quit making videos. Now, you know, I've been doing videos for four or five years. I've got, I'd say, at least several hundred videos. I go live a couple times a week. Um, and over time, each of those videos has 200, 300, 1,000 video views. And I know that has made a huge difference in, you know, how many customers I have, how many courses I sell, you know, people noticing me and asking me to do interviews, um, write for publications. So just by showing up regularly, that's where the magic happens. You don't know who's going to notice that. You don't know when, you know, the newspaper in your town is going to see your stuff and ask if they can do an article on your business. I know my friend Felicia Brown got interviewed for the news about her spa in Greensboro, North Carolina, A to Zen. Um, and that's because she's involved in her community. She's always showing up at events and doing things. So when they needed to interview a spa owner for the news, that is who they thought of. Um, I don't have it handy right now, but years ago when I had my day spa, one day this big, huge box just arrived at the spa. And I was like, what? I didn't order anything. I don't know what this box is. I opened it up and it's a box of magazines it's called Our State Magazine. And I'm like, why did Our State Magazine send me a giant box of magazines? So I look, was looking through it, looking through it, looking through it. There was a full page article about my spa. Nobody had ever even contacted me about it. They had seen my advertising. They went to our website, got our information and wrote a full page article about us. And it went out to, you know, the entire state of North Carolina. So, but that was because I was putting myself out there. I did quite a bit of advertising at that time in print. Um, there wasn't a whole lot on the internet back then, but we did have a website and we made sure that we were in the top three of Google. So I'm not actually 100% sure how they found out about us. I imagine that it was just from Googling our area. They were highlighting the mountains and um, 
they probably saw our website. So it's worth it to put in that time and effort to get yourself into the top spot of Google for your town or for your city. You know, it's worth it to put in this time and effort even when it, you don't feel like it, even when you feel like it's not really doing anything, it's not working. Because if you get, if you do that, if you put, I don't know, maybe it takes five or six hours to optimize your website or pay somebody to do that, take that risk, spend that money, pay somebody to optimize your website and do all your Google local search and everything like that, well, you know, it's not gonna pay off in a week or two weeks. But if you look back, if you track where your clients come from and you look back at that in a year, you might be like, oh my gosh, I got 20 new clients from Google and six of them are now weekly clients and then add up that money, right? So, um, so definitely doing things and showing up even when you don't feel like it, even when you're you know, afraid to invest in yourself, afraid to spend the money, afraid to outsource something. And it is, you know, that stuff is not risk-free, but I have found that it pays off in the long run in either in, you know, business coming your way in what you learned or in, you know, raising up your brand and how many people know about you and leading to other opportunities that you could never even have seen or thought of. So, um, so let me, I'll just recap because I did those five things, but I did them slightly out of order. So risk taking is number one, take a risk, invest in something, invest in the bundle that we have for sale and learn from industry experts like myself, Eric Brown, Erica Dalton, Felicia Brown. Felicia's got a great class in the bundle on hiring employees, even if you're not at that point in your business yet. These resources are really good to save and you'll have them when you need them, when you're ready for them. So um, that leads me to number two, always be learning new things so that you can be try new things so that you'll stay inspired. You know, being motivated and inspired is a choice. It's something that we give to ourselves. The, the, um, information and what we need to stay motivated and inspired. And one way that I do that is mostly through reading and learning. If I'm learning new information, I will be inspired to share that information, to try that information out, or just to realize, hey, this is somebody who's doing cool stuff and it inspires me to get out there and to try to do cool stuff as well. Um, which is number three, tenacity. Just keep on going don't let people burst your bubble or you know people will say stuff to you that is unhelpful and sometimes even unkind you know like are you sure you want to do that um my sister was talking to someone about selling her art online the other day and they were like well who would buy art online? Well, just because they don't buy art online, they don't think that buying art online is a thing, but of course it's a thing. So you can't let people that know nothing about, you know, the massage and spot industry or what you want to do, tell you that you can't do something, right? So just that tenacity, that just going after what you want day after day after day and putting in the time and the effort too. Um, and that is something that sometimes can can be a bit hard when you're having to say no i you know i need to stay home and work on my business today but it also will lead you in the future to be in a place where you've got more money to go and do really cool stuff that you want to do so it's kind of, you know it's it's that balance because at this point in my business i'm to the point where i outsource quite a few things that i used to do and i get to do you know really the parts of my business that I like the most, like doing this live stream right now. Um, so, you know, there's, there's just different cycles. And when you're in the cycle of getting things started and getting things in place and figuring things out, you may have to do more of the work yourself to get to the point where 
you know, where you can um, streamline things a bit. So number four is failing forward. Don't let your failures cause you to slow down or quit or feel like you're not good at that thing. You know, just learn from that failure and then tweak and go back out there again. So, and then five is doing things and showing up despite how you feel. If we only did things when we felt like it, we would not get a whole lot done. I really truly believe that. So we can choose to, you know, just go ahead anyway, fake it till you make it kind of an attitude, or you we can choose to um, do something to motivate and inspire ourselves so that we can get in the groove and take action. So anyway, I hope you guys will check out the bundle. It is on sale for two more days, over $2,000 worth of courses and resources from industry experts. So check it out. Just click the link, read everything that's included. This is all your content to keep and use forever whenever you're ready to use it. So um, I don't want you to miss out on that. And you'd get my six week boot camp. Um, an ebook I wrote called 1000 Ideas for Entrepreneurs that will help you to generate 1000 ideas for your business and for your life. Um, I also included my course on starting a successful outcall business. I know a lot of people are regrouping and might be looking into a new business model with lower overhead. So I included that course. And there's so much more in there. There's some great bonuses, goal setting courses. So check out that bundle and I will see you guys later. Bye.